。是的，通讯部部长已经筹谋日后再实施打假新闻法。而作为吸收和传播资讯最前线的媒体工作者，如何从庞大的资讯量中筛检出真实有意义的讯息，值得大家理性判读。事实核查专家提到，社会除了依赖新闻工作者提高素质、做好把关工作之外，每一名乐听人也应该具备判读能力。There is a problem with with misinformation, but we can we can solve it by looking at things critically. We can ask, like, how does how does this person know this to be true, or where did this information come from, or、uh, is this picture an old picture,、uh, especially around things like、uh, the current situation with COVID-19 around the world. There's a lot of fake rumors about how to protect yourself. All we need to do is ask our question: Has this come from an expert? 福克斯提醒，在科技发达的今天，假新闻的流通率比以往更广。除了因为内容耸动，还因为这些信息已经渗透到大家惯用、爱用的通讯或社交软体中。因此，学会判读信息的能力越来越重要。福克斯为马新社新闻团队进行了为期四天的事实核查工作坊，将近五十名制作人、记者和前线摄影等参加了培训。